What's going on, YouTube? This is Jonesville Dirty standing out here with old Fitzy right there. We just to change out the um, air filters to show y'all how to change out the air filters on a 2020 Peterbilt. What's going on everybody? Primetime Fitz here. So we're going to get the gloves on because this one's a little dirty as you can tell. So what we're going to do here, first off, you're going to be able to go over the parts department over here at Prime, whether or not you're leased or company. If you're leased, obviously you're going to have to pay probably a little bit for it. Company drivers, we get these for free. Go ahead and grab these. You want to do this probably about every three to six months. Oh yeah. Three to six months. So the first thing what you're going to do over here, there's a big arrow over here on the side of the air conditioning unit. This is the airflow going into the actual cab. So you want to take here, there's an arrow, you push that, push that over. As you can see, we already got dirt coming out here, so you know it's going to be bad. You want to pull it out. Reaching here, we're going to pull that filter out. Be careful with it, because this, this will mess you up. That is all kinds of nastiness. So, you know, get the new one. So, there's really no, really in particular way other than the, where it says airflow. So with airflow, we wanna match up the arrows. Push her back in. Push it back in, we're good. So what you're saying, if you slide that in, if it don't fit, you must have quit. You must have quit. You must have quit. Line back up the arrow. Pull back to here the click, and you're good. So primetime fits here again. So there is one more filter that you actually want to change, but the thing is, this is not recommended by Peterbilt to actually change yourself. You're gonna to wanna to take that to a dealer or to a shop to actually go ahead and get that one replaced. That way that you don't end up messing, especially with the lease guys, you don't wanna be messing with your warranty. All right, so now, we're still doing a 2020-20 feet. We're gonna change the APU filter, which is located actually in two positions to get into it, under the bunk or to your side door right here. Now, all you simply do Flip off the black cap. You got four clamps on it, you just take them off. Take your cap and pull it clear away from it. Now your filter is located in front. So all you simply do is tug it out. Now let's see how, ooh wee, you yeah, don't need to show us how dirty it is, we can see that. Wow. <laughs> well you can see, he hasn't done that in a while. Now the replacement filter is already cut down to size and pretty much by dirty filters reduce the airflow of your air intake. So to place it, you simply replace it right back into the front. Make sure it fits firm and tugs down inside. Now, you do, you, if you get it from the parts room, you may have the cut to order to fit. Yeah. So therefore, make sure you have a knife or a pair of scissors handy. This one was already pre-trimmed for us. So. Now, continue on with simply replacing your cover, making sure that it's sealed firmly. Locking back your four pins again. Voila, that completes the changing of my filter from the rear side of the vehicle. So, now, if you enjoyed my video, please go ahead and like, subscribe, click. Make sure you do all of that. I need your support. Thank you.